everyone. So just to let you guys know, whenever I'm filming a tutorial or something like that, I actually film myself doing it first, and then I film the intro, and then when I'm in editing, I flip it to where the intro is first, and then it takes you into the tutorial. Well, today I was filming the tutorial, and I start off the actual like tutorial part with, um, hey, I'm in my bathroom at my parents' house, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I decided that I was like, for the intro part, gonna go sit down in my bedroom like my normal setup is. But I decided that I just wanted to stay standing up because I feel like I've never done a video standing up or maybe I've done like one or two um, and I kind of like it. So I thought that this would just be a really quick and simple way for me to show you guys how to do the braided top knot. But if you hear me saying again, so now um, I'm in my parents' bathroom, that is why I told you guys that twice. Anyways, so this is how I do my braided top knot. A top knot is something that I've been seeing for the past couple months on celebrities on the red carpet. It's basically a bun on the top of your head, like the tippy top of your head. And of course, whenever celebrities are wearing it on the red carpet, they had it done by a professional hairstylist. And I've actually talked to a couple different hairstylists asking them how they get the really kind of messy top knot feel. And they say that they put the hair up in a high ponytail and then they take individual, like small sections of hair and they fold it over and then they bobby pin it in, a, bobby pin it in place. And then they do that like a hundred times. And I was thinking to myself, like, that takes so long. Um, that's something that, that would just take me a long time and I would never want to do that. But I love the look of a top knot. And I was actually reading a magazine and it said that if you braided the hair first and then wrapped it around the ponytail, it kind of looked like little sections of um, pieces that you stuck in. But it's really quick and really simple and really easy. So I wanted to show you guys how I did this. And I'm going to show you kind of a close up look of the top knot since I'm standing kind of far away from the um, camera. So as you can see, it kind of looks like I have all these little pieces that I took and I like flipped over. So that's what it looks like. And I'll show you around the whole way. I hope, can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so my number one tip if you are wanting to do a top knot or pull this off, I am someone who I've worn a top knot with sweats and a baggy t-shirt if I'm just running to the grocery store or I actually was running to Ulta because I just wanted to pick up one mascara and I was running there, I was in sweats and a t-shirt and I was like, you know what? I want to do something with my hair really fast and this is something that literally has gotten to the point where it takes me two minutes tops to do. It's something you can do before school, especially with the holidays ending and a lot of you are going to be going back to school. I'm sure it's going to be hard to wake up early in the morning again. This is something different, something fun that you can do to school. Uh, but my number one tip for it is to actually not do it too high. I think the way you get a really pretty top knot is to actually do it kind of lower. Now this may seem high, it's probably about two inches high right there. There are top knots you can do that are four or five inches high. And um, I actually, I don't know, I really like this one. You can make it as messy or as sleek as you want depending on how messy you do the top ponytail or how sleek you do it. If you want to pull out, you know, extra strands of hair and then kind of, you know, style them if you have bangs. There's so many different options to do this. And this is a tutorial that as long as you can put your hair up in a really high ponytail and still have enough of a tail to braid it and kind of wrap it around itself at least once, your hair is long enough to do this. So I say you need either medium or long hair um, to be able to do this look, but if you have that, you should be able to do it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so scatterbrained, and my tutorials, um, or my intros always take so long. I don't know why, I'm like the um, person with long intros. It's like I can't cut myself down, I can't edit myself out. I just keep talking, 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 but anyways, um, I was saying that I wear it with sweatpants, and it's kind of something that is a little bit more put together than a ponytail. And then the other thing is I went to a Christmas party with my parents, and I was wearing like this really pretty sparkly black dress and some red heels, and I did my hair in a braided top knot, and it's kind of like an updo. You can also do it on the middle of your head or even um, as a low bun if you wanted to, but this is the way that I love to do it. And uh, my point for telling you guys that is it went really, really, really casual with sweats and a t-shirt and it went really dressy with, um, you know, a holiday party, a dress with heels and stuff. And so I think this is a very versatile look and the only thing you would have to worry about is if you feel like a ballerina when you put it on. I feel like that's my number one comment I get when I wear my top knots is that looks like a ballerina bun, but I think ballerinas are really pretty and graceful and, um... I don't know, I, I really like the top knot, so I know that this intro is probably record time, um, but 
yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know and I'm going to take you into actually doing the top knot. It might take me a little bit longer than two minutes just because I'm having to be cautious of like staying in the frame of the camera and stuff. But I have gotten this down to where I can do it in about two minutes and I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you leave a video response of either you showing me how you like to do your top knot or if you're going to do it kind of a little bit messier, I'd love to see how you do that. Or if you have curly hair, I would love to see how this looks. If you have curly hair, and I don't have naturally curly hair, so I can't try it on myself, uh, but if you have curly hair, I would love for you to do this and leave it as a video response for me. Leave any hair tutorial requests in the comments below, and I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Wow, could that intro have been any longer? I don't think so. All right, just so you guys know about the setting difference, this is actually my bathroom at my parents' new house. I know I've been moving like crazy, and it probably doesn't make sense, but um, yeah, that is this little setup. And I thought that this would be better for me to stand up and I have the camera propped up on the counter because it was just easier for me to film this way. Um, okay, so as you can tell, I just have my hair down and it's not straightened or anything like that. What I did is this is actually second day hair, which means I took a shower and washed it yesterday. And then when I took my shower today, I actually put it up in a hair cap so that I didn't have to wash it today because it's actually worse for your hair to wash it every day. It's better to at least do every other day. It's good if you could go two full days without washing it. Um, that's actually pretty healthy for it, but mine gets kind of greasy by the second day, so I can't go by the third day. Um, so the first thing you want to do is just put your hair up in a high ponytail. And I was a competitive cheerleader. I don't know why I'm talking with my hands. I was a competitive cheerleader for a pretty long time, and I kind of found the best way to do my high ponytail is actually to flip my head over and get my ponytail as high on my head as you can. And you want this um, ponytail to be like right at the top of your head. So I just have my hair brush. The brush that I like to use to put my hair up is actually one of these that has the bore bristles and it has the regular plastic bristles. I find if I use just a plastic bristle one, it kind of leaves like kind of like stripes in my hair. But if I just use the bore bristle, it doesn't actually comb through my hair as well. So this is like the best of both worlds. So what I'm going to do is just flip my hair over and I hope you guys are still going to be able to see this. Can you see me? I think so. So I'm flipping my hair over and I'm just going to comb it back like this. And then I'm just going to grab it all up right at the top of my head. I'm sure all of you know how to do a high pony, um, but just in case you don't, I'm just going to do this really quickly and brush it all up so that I don't have any tacos. I like a kind of sleeker look for this, um, but you can totally do it any way you want. Okay, and then I just loop this through. Like this, and mine loops through four times. Oh, that like took some power. All right, so now I have my hair up in a very high ponytail. And now what you want to do is just braid the end, just a simple classic braid. So I'm going to split this hair into three sections. So one, two, three. They don't have to be perfectly even. And then I'm just going to braid them together really quickly. And make sure you're keeping the braid tight as you go. My arms start to hurt after doing this for a while. Okay, so now I have my nice long braid and you can leave the ends unbraided like this. Now you just wanna twist this braid around your hair and tuck in the bottoms and you can kind of play with it a little bit and sometimes if I need to twist it around again and kind of lay it flat a little bit more, I will. And then I'm just going to take a bobby pin. Now the bobby pins I use are actually from Sally Beauty Supply. This is a 300 count bobby pin for um, not that much money. I think it was like a couple dollars for 300 and I don't know why, I lose bobby pins all the time. It's like I can't keep them. But I'm just going to take one and pin this little end in, and then it might need another one. And I like to use black bobby pins because that's the closest color to my hair, but if you have blonde hair, I, rec uh, uh, I recommend using ones um, that are closer to your shade of hair. Okay, so now that I have the main tail kind of pinned in, I just mess around with it a little bit. And then even if it kind of feels secure when you like bop your head around a little bit, I like to take a few more bobby pins and just bobby pin the base in just 
in case. So I'm going to stick a bobby pin there. And if you're interlocking them in the middle, that means that they're not going to move. So I kind of like to make them like bump up against, bump up against, how did I say that? Bump, I don't know. Bump up against um, another bobby pin. Kind of like they're friends. Okay, and then if I had bangs or if I had, you know, shorter layers that I could pull out, I think that'd be really pretty, especially if you wanted to like curl them a little bit with a um, curling iron or even just a flat iron and just wave it a little bit. But I like to pull out some of my baby hairs because I don't like such a sleeked back look. And I also like to stick my fingers kind of in my hair a little bit and just pull. This is going to mess it up just a little bit. And I know that it's kind of silly to go back on what I said and when I said, you know, I like to do a really sleek ponytail, but I find that if I kind of pull it out afterwards, um, it's kind of still like a put together messy instead of just a um, crazy messy. But anyways, that is how I do my braided top knot. I think it's a really fun look. I think it's great for either casual or a dressy occasion. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.